Okay guys, today we're doing the carburetor on a Husqvarna LC2214 with 625EX Briggs & Stratton. Uh, first thing, this is an all-wheel drive model too. Uh, first thing we'll do is take the air filter off, air filter out. Then we're going to do two 8 millimeters. It's right here and here. And then you've got two 7 millimeters here and here. So get this cover off. Then just pull this straight out. There's a little tube, it'll come right off, no problem. Then we're going to remove this clamp with a pair of pliers. You squeeze it, slide it up, pull the fuel line off, and we're going to drain this into a container so it can be disposed of properly. Alright, so I drain mine into an empty water bottle so I can see what the customers put into their lawnmower. And as you can see, they put in some water. This looks like good gas, but that's water. Water sinks to the bottom, so that means that carburetor is full of water. Okay, we're going to pull this top cover off just so you can see the linkages. I can do this from this side, but I, I can't show you the linkages like they're supposed to. So I'll just to show you how to do this. You pull this up, pull it straight up, and then uh, the back side should come straight up too. Um, maybe I'll pry that with a flathead. What's it look like? Yeah. Should come straight up. Pry it out with a flat head. It'll pop for you. There it is. Or Phillips head. Whatever you gotta pry with. There it is. Done, done. They just pop out. Alright, then you got 8mm here, here, and here. Take them out. Okay, now you can see in there really well. We're gonna grab this wiglet, pull it out. Boom. Alright, now this front one. Just on hooks by twisting this up, wiggling it out, just like that. This back one, you turn this way, wiggle it out. All right, now we're gonna take this two seven millimeters on the bottom of this carburetor out. Just so you can see this, see the water beads? The water beads running down that. This thing is full of water. Water and oil do not mix. Then use a flat screwdriver, get it up in between these two, and pry them, just twist it and pry them apart. You'll find a way to pull the water. Alright, so the main part, we're going to take this, this float right here out, just take a flat and twist it, pop it out. And this is the main jet right here. We're going to get this flathead underneath here between the black. And we're going to pry it, twist this to pry it out. Can of carb cleaner with a straw on it. We're going to blow through this hole, this hole, this hole. And make sure it's spraying through here and these two very freely and very easily. And then we're going to rinse all this out as well. If you're having a hard time getting that clear, so you can see right through it, Poke it with a wire or something, just get that to come free and then spray it again with carb cleaner. Okay, now we're going to put it back in. This jet always faces this red rubber gasket. You're going to put it in. Now there is a little thing inside. Here, let me find it. Hold on. Alright, see that white ring down in there? That will fall out sometimes. That This, this holds that in place. So you got to make sure that white ring is in place before you push this down. Then you just push this down till it clicks. It's easier with both hands. This back side here, you see this white ring? There's an O-ring, a rubber O-ring underneath that. Sometimes they're stuck right here. You have to pull them off of here and then put the O-ring in here first and then this white piece clicks right in place and holds the O-ring in place. So we're gonna put the uh, needle valve and the float back in um, you just got to get that I just can't hard to see there we go get that needle valve right in that hole float in place and then we'll push the pin through this here it'll only go through the float I'm gonna have to hold the float it'll only go through the float and then um, you push this down till it clicks once you get that in there um, let's get it lined up, clicked right in, to make sure that it's all nice and level everywhere. 
that nothing's out of place. Everything looks good. All right. Then this only goes on one way. So if it doesn't fit on this way, which it's fitting on that way, see, this this is where this goes. So it won't go on the other way, or it'll it'll hit the bo bottom of this and won't let it down. So it'll only go on one way. Then two seven millimeter bolts hold this in place. And just so you know, the ones that go in the bottom of the carburetor are the long, coarse thread ones. The fine thread ones and the short coarse thread ones hold the air filter assembly up against it. So you need the two long coarse thread screws. Now we're going to get the uh, cables in. This cable is going to go into this hole first, just like this. And then this cable is going to go in this hole here, just like this. Then you're going to slide this. We'll slide right in this slot here. And this hole go right back, right onto that. Push it until it's all the way in, nice and snug. Then we'll refasten this on. You'll see there's tabs right there. They'll fit right in and line right up. The eight millimeters go on the outside, seven millimeters go on the inside. Oh, before we get ahead of ourselves, I forgot. Gotta hook up the fuel line. Boy, that thing will make a mess if you don't. Put the hose in and the clamp down to keep your hose in check. There's also this tube in the back. Grab it, stabs right on. Put the recoil down in place. Get it set in place and three eight millimeter bolts on it. I'm gonna put this back on so it's got little hooks. So you wanna set them down and hook them under this front cover first and then everything else will click down in place. All right, so I got the front hooks in and you get the backs lined up. Just push everything down until it clicks in and you're ready to go there. All right, then uh, air filter, air filter cover. All right, and uh, you're ready to go. Uh, put gas in it. Make sure you blew out your tank and everything. Don't put water back in your new car. Fill up with gas, you're ready to go. Um, any of the parts you'll need for this will be in the description below. New carburetor, fuel lines, whatever I can find for this on Amazon. Uh, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Show me a little support. Um, yeah, today's t-shirt, that'll be in the... Uh, description below as well. If you want me to wear some business t-shirts of yours, mail them to me. I'll wear them for a bunch of videos and they'll be on there forever. Peace.